Hey there guys, this is Eric from Any Fitness, and today we're going to be launching a new series where we cook uh, healthy meals. So essentially these videos are going to be posted every Wednesday, so if you like this one, make sure you check back next week. So for today's episode, we're going to be cooking tuna patties. They're really easy to make, they taste really good, and it doesn't really take much time to make them. So you're going to need some oats, uh, salt, pepper, olive oil, two cans of tuna, half an onion that we're going to chop, two eggs, and two little pieces of garlic. Alright, so you're going to need these oats and we're going to make flour with it. So you're going to want to have about half a cup of uh, oats and you're going to put them in, you know, just measure them, put them in the fruit processor and then blend them and it's going to serve as uh, a form of flour. After it's blended it should look a little like this um, and you're going to be putting it inside the entire mix later on. Alright, so first off you're going to want to drain your tuna. So once you've opened the cans, make sure you just drain all of the juice out of the tuna. Right, now you're going to want to chop the onions. So I've pre-chopped it right here. Uh, you just want to chop it into really small little pieces, pretty much diced. And you don't need too much, just about a quarter of an onion is good enough. This is a pretty big onion, so yeah, a quarter of this, and if you have smaller onions, you know, depending on the size, you can adjust. Now we're going to start mixing this stuff together. So you're going to take your tuna and just dump it in a mixing bowl or any kind of bowl really. So get this in. Now you want to put in your onion. Just put all of that in. And now you're going to get your two little pieces of garlic. And you can chop them up or you can use one of these if you have one at home. It really depends, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. Put your knife, put that in there. All right. Good. Now you're going to want to break your eggs, put them in, don't drop any eggshells in like I did. And we're going to put in the rest of our flour that we ground up. Just put in a fair amount. You don't need to put all of it in, just put in like a, that much. Okay, now you're going to get to, actually, yeah. We're gonna add the salt and pepper. So just about, uh, you know, a tablespoon of pepper is good. A fair amount of salt as well. That should be good. And then you get to mixing. Make sure you wash your hands. You wash your hands beforehand, or else it's gonna be really, really gross. So you want to adjust depending on how thick your your mix is, or you know, if it's too uh, liquid, then you want to add more flour. And if it's too thick, obviously, then you can add more water. You can add a little water in. That it works fine without a problem. Yeah. Okay, so once you have a consistency that's somewhat like this, you know, you, you don't want it to be too thick, but you want to be able to, you know, ha have it hold together, because we're making patties out of these. So, you know, consistency that's similar to this one, where it's not too thick, but, you know, thick enough for the stuff to hold up. I'm gonna be cooking these on the stove top. I have a pan right here, and I have olive oil and my tuna mix. So, pretty much just put it on a medium high, and get your oil in. So we, I have olive oil here. You can use canola oil, but olive oil is uh, much better in my opinion. So put in a fair amount because you are going to be, you know, cooking them and frying them, pretty much. Not frying them completely, but you know what I mean. Make sure you coat the entire pan. You don't want it to stick because if your tuna patty stick, you're in big trouble. Okay, so after a few minutes, I have a gas uh, burner, so it doesn't take very long to heat up. But, you know, there's smoke now, so uh, <laughs> definitely ready. Now be very careful when you put the tuna mix into the pan because it's extremely hot. The oil will splatter if you drop the tuna panties in. So make sure you put them in really lightly and you can make whatever size you want. You know, this is the size that I go for. And you kind of want to go for uh, larger patties instead of like thicker because um, the thicker they are, the longer it'll take to cook. So you want to have like, you, you can have them large. Just just something like this is what I go for. All right, be really careful when you put them in because splatter is a thing and uh, <laughs> it will happen. It just happened to me. So with this much tuna mix, you can probably make around five or six patties. I make five pretty big ones, but you know, you can divide them as you want. Now, you don't want to touch them and you want to cook them for about two minutes on each side. If you touch them, they will break apart and you can see right here that this one's starting to break apart 
but you know, either you can mold it, or you can just leave it be, and it'll cook and it'll like form back together. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes when they're done. After about two minutes, that's when you're gonna start flipping your patties. Now as you're waiting for them to cook on the second side, I really recommend that you get your plate and start lining it with paper towel because you're going to want to absorb all the oil that's going to come from the tuna patties once they're done cooking. Okay, so now they're done cooking and you just want to line them on top of the, on top of the paper towel you have right here. So you just want to let them sit for about two to three minutes and then they should be ready to eat. Here's the finished product. Now I'm going to list all the macronutrients right on the screen at this moment. And I really recommend having, you know, just trying these. They're super easy to make and they taste really good. Plus they're loaded with protein. Anyways, that's about it for today. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you let me know by leaving a like and uh, commenting on the video. Um, also, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, we're going to have videos three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And uh, cooking videos are going to be on every Wednesday. So, you know, if you want to check back next week or just subscribe to us, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much for watching.